Trevor the Traction Engine is old fashioned but he doesn't care. He knows that he is really useful, like his friend Edward the Blue Engine. Early one morning, Trevor was chuffing about the Vicarage Orchard. He had important news for Edward. The vicar says that not all children are able to have holidays by the sea, so he's having a garden party to raise money for a seaside trip. I'm going to be the star attraction, giving rides to all the visitors. The vicar is putting up posters all about it. I'd like to help out too. But without my rails, I wouldn't be much good at a garden party. It was a beautiful day, but Edward was worried. I wish there was something I could do for the party. I'd like to be helpful, just like Trevor. Edward's driver laughed. You're helpful in your own way, and that's on the railway. Next day, it was Trevor's turn to look disappointed. He had bad news. The vicar's been so busy, he forgot to put up the posters. Now no one will know about the party. Hmm, don't worry. Everything is going to be alright. Then he explained to his driver. The vicar can paste his posters on my cabin coaches, so wherever I go, they'll go too. Well done, Edward. I'm sure Sir Tom Hat will agree. As indeed he did. Edward steamed happily through the station, collecting his passengers. Look! The vicar is holding a party. We must go to that. Later, Trevor was resting in the orchard shed when Bertie rolled by. Hello, Trevor. Why are you dozy there like an old stick in the mud? I'm not dozing, I'm resting. Then Trevor told Bertie about the vicar's party. I'll be there too. I'm not sure people want to ride an old traction engine after a small red bus like me. The party day arrived. It had rained heavily during the night and the orchard ground was soaked. Rain and mud won't spoil my day. No indeed, Trevor. We'll stay on the road, then we won't get bogged down. Trevor was soon busy trundling up and down the quiet country lane, carrying lots of laughing children. He was just turning the corner when he heard Bertie. Hello, old timer. I'm taking everyone to the party. People have come from all over the island. Trevor gave Bertie a cheerful whistle, then turned back towards the orchard. Then, there was trouble. Help! I'm stuck! Bertie's wheels had sunk deep in the orchard mud. At that moment, Terence the tractor arrived. I'm the one who has to plow the fields, Bertie! <laughs> We'd better get you out of there! Using strong ropes, Terence and Trevor pulled Bertie clear of the mud. This'll teach Bertie a thing or two. At last, Bertie was on the road again. Thank you, Trevor. You're not a stick in the mud at all. No, but you were just for a little while. That evening, the vicar came to see Edward and his driver. Thanks to your good idea about the posters, hundreds of people paid to come to the party. We've raised lots of money for the children. You're very welcome, sir. Edward was very pleased. And Trevor fell happily asleep, thinking of all the children who would now get to the seaside at last. <laughs>